Coach Beckerman. What are the Brown Bears up to at Flow Nationals 2014? Hey, we're here recruiting, looking for uh, future Brown Bears, looking for the uh, the guys who want to help us take it to the next level. I'm looking at some of the guys you're getting, man, and I'm getting pretty excited. You got an Ohio stud, 220-pounder, Division One champ, Mr. Farr. I like that guy. One of the scrappiest guys I know in the country, Iron Man runner-up. But when you're looking at getting guys like that, who are, I think that guy could go wrestle in the Big Ten. I think he's that tough. When you're getting guys like that, you got Ophir Bernstein, you know, world finalist, world silver medalist, all American for you guys now. Mm -hmm. Getting these guys you're getting who are, are, are blue chippers, what, what's going into that and what have you changed about the program? You know, it's exciting. Very exciting time now. You know, we, we built a strong relationship with Farr and, uh, you know, coming in here, he has the opportunity to work out with Ophir, who's an All-American. Um, Coach LeBlanc, another one. I mean, he has the best of both worlds and now he's going to get an Ivy League education and the sky's the limit. I look at the, you know, Brown, what it was. It was, it was some frustrating times for Brown. It got dropped, what, two na uh, two years ago? They tried to drop it about two years two ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Now you guys come back, you got an All-American, and it feels like the ball is really going to start rolling. And I talked to Coach Goodale about this, mm -hmm. breaking down barriers. Do you feel like you guys are ready to roll and start having multiple All-Americans here? We're having fun. You know, there's 80 All-Americans here, and we have one coming back next year, and, you know, the sky's the limit. You know, now the recruits know it can be done at Brown. The team knows it can be done at Brown. So now it's a fun time. Now it's like, you know, let's find the right guys that are going to fit in our program to help us take it to the next level. And, you know, we'll kind of take it from there. I mean, it's a lot of fun right now to build and enjoy it. And we got a great group there that's already helping us get to that next level. Now let's find some other recruits to build that. Of the eight Ivies, you guys are the most liberal. It's definitely a very different place, Providence, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. When you get a recruit there, are they surprised when they see the campus of Brown? Uh, a little bit. You know, we had uh, we had Naked Week this year, which uh, was uh, <laughs> was kind of interesting. What is that? Yeah, they had uh, Naked Yoga, so uh, no phones were allowed there. You know, everyone went there, and I didn't get a chance to see it, of course. But uh, yeah, Naked Week. <laughs> Come to Brown. Come to Naked Week. <laughs> what is that? When? Uh, it was in the fall. In the fall? Yeah. That sounds interesting. And yeah. you guys, it's, it's just a really unique place. It is. Uh, looking at the education that they leave there with and the networking, how valuable do you think that is to a kid? It's unbelievable. You know, um, I think the biggest thing going back the two years when they were talking about dropping the program, these alums came out of the woodwork and, you know, they're fired up and they're giving back to the program. And I think that's what you're buying into. It's like you're leaving here with the Ivy degree and a network of friends that are trying to give back to wrestling. You know, these alums have made it made our job a lot easier because they're excited, they're calling, they're pushing us, you know, so we're putting in a lot of hours because of the support we're getting behind the scenes. All right, what happened to your eye? Uh, one of our guys, you know, I was training for Flow Nationals. I saw the uh, pre-seeds come out and uh, <laughs> now just working out, getting guys better. You know, we have freestyle coming up and uh, yeah, nice little shiner here. All hard work. Okay, coming to a tournament like this where you get to watch kids wrestle rules that your guys wrestle. Mm -hmm. How refreshing is that? I love it. I love it. I was talking to Martin. I actually, uh, you know, I told him, I was like, let's take it another step further. Let's do college weights. You know, we're coming here to see the guys wrestle, you know, the college style with the riding time to see if they can ride, see if they have the out of balance rule and really prepare them. See what, you know, where they're going to be at at the next level because it is a different part, you know, adding the out of bounds, adding the riding time. Some of these guys are winning. You know, with that right in time point, you're seeing at the NCAA level. You know, this is this is great to see what to expect at the next level of college. So that's why we always got to be here. We got to see this tournament, recruit at, and find the right guys that are going to fit our program. What's it like catching up with Snyder? Love it, love it. You know, we flew in together, drove from Pittsburgh over here, and uh, it's always good to uh, see him and see what they're doing at Nebraska and just just BS. A lot of fun. You got anything else for me, Coach? Hey, I love it. Love what you're doing. We got to get you to Providence. All right, hey, thanks for the time. We will see you on the East Coast soon. All right, thanks.